Good mid-afternoon everyone. It's 3.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Monday, September 2nd, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So I want to do a quick update here. I've got a little bit of company over for Labor Day. My mom who's going to be going into surgery soon. Back in the hospital tomorrow for diverticulitis as some of you know. I've been a little bit uh, secretive about it but that's what's going to be going on here. Um, but she's over now but i wanted to do this update because we talked about this possible inverse head and shoulders and if we can break past 61.5 cents i'm very intrigued about what could happen here if you're part of the copy trade we lost about eight nine bucks yesterday we made it back today did a series of trades on uh, matic at the 5x level to see if we were able to use that liquidity point it worked out rather well the differential was minute and the first time I got stopped out, believe it or not, after a run-up, it stopped me out for about 2%. Bought back in almost immediately once it reshuffled. And then we ended up making about 6.6%. So we made about 8.6% today on copy trades. And we're up about 200. And well, we'll take a look at it at some point here. Um, but I see possibilities of a much bigger expansion here. Um, and for XRP, if we can get on top of 56.18 and hold... This is a key way to invalidate this drop to 50 cents. In fact, if we were to break up out of the structure, that would lead us right back up. And it's pretty interesting how this works out. This would bring us back into that range of right around that 62.2 cent rising channel resistance. Actually, it's pretty, it's right just above it. But it would fill out what looks like a cup and handle could be filling out here to the top side. So that's right up at about 63.2 cents. We want to invalidate the drop to 50.1 cents if we can get on top of 56.7 and ultimately hold over, what is this, 57.4 cents to confirm the invalidation. So that's what we're looking at right now to invalidate the drop to 50 cents. I definitely uh, was trying to allude to it yesterday. You know, it's hard to uh, navigate when we're in a bearish moment, but I tried to allude to it yesterday. We all did this together. I said XRP puts in potential double bottom and inverse head and shoulders on 2018 resistance. Is it a fake out or breakout? We talked about it. We even talked about the XRP bearish thesis was continuing last night and it dumped down to 54.4 cents. But we talked about how to break out of this in the bullish scenario. And that's what's starting to happen as we sneak past the 2018 resistance. You can stay out ahead of this if you just watch the updates and the lives. Tonight, I don't know if we're going to have a live because of Labor Day, but I definitely wanted to do my due diligence here. So, XRP right now, we're hot. We're getting hot here. We need to get over 56.15 and start pushing the just over the top here. And let's get this label just so that we can have it in real time. And I promise this will not be a long update. I promise you, everybody, this will not be a long update. Um, let's get this label. But you know me, I like to be transparent. And uh, win or lose, I'm going to tell you, like yesterday I came on and today, guys, you know, today we lost nine bucks or eight bucks. Unfortunately, we had an unfortunate chain of events on the copy trading, but you know, you win some, you lose some. Even though I was disappointed yesterday because we actually should have been on the winning end of the formula. It's just we have to understand the liquidity pools, and now we know for XRP, you know, we can't trade it. Matic, the liquidity pool is much, much better. It was a 0 0.022 differential on XRP. 0.003 on Matic. That's nothing. That's so easy to deal with. And I did it in 5X on Matic. So we'll stay with 5X. But Ethereum with 10X. Bitcoin with 10X when we do the leverage. XRP we can't do. Um, so you just have to be aware of the exchange running. So there's many opportunities out there. We just can't get frustrated. The technical breakup, if we do break out of here, should be back up towards 63.2 cents. You'd have to get over 57.3 to confirm it. And remember, you're bullish... And not bearish as long as you're over the 2018 resistance, which is at 55 cents. We put in what I thought yesterday could be that inverse head and shoulders, and I'm standing by it. I think we're coming up to 58 cents first layer here. And then uh, unless we invalidate the structure, which we have not, we've only further validated it with an even shorter term inv inverse head and shoulders here. We're coming up to 58 cents, I think. Should be up to 58 and then possibly more. So let me know in the comments what you think. And let's very quickly go over the copy trades because I get questions all the time. Yesterday, everybody got to see, you know, the $9 loss or $8 or 7 whatever the hell your copy trade was. I'm not exactly sure where yours would have opened up. Um, so today, we're at lead trading. We're up $236.99. 
we've made 121 trades, 53.7% of panned out. That means we haven't been liquidated on a single trade, which means 47% have been stopped out or have pulled back here and ended up stop well been stopped out. That's the best way to put it. Um, the order, the recent orders. We had an entry on Matic at 40.33, out at 40.86, 6.57%. Followers made 204. And then we had um, 40.05. It stopped us out at 42.1. It was necessary because we're trying to see that liquidity pull. I actually had a stop loss down to on that second, the trade that actually panned out for six and a half. The stop loss was at 40.10, and I wanted to see how the liquidity pull would react. It was like a $2 loss for the group. But it worked out for us that W pushed up in the shorter time frame and we pushed our resistance. The one from yesterday was down 323, so the followers made basically all of it back now. Um, and then the trade that I made on Matic, it was pretty simple. I drew it out first, as I always do, and then uh, I try to play the trade appropriately. And I sold it out once it hit that resistance. You know, you can't exactly get the topper, you know, when you hit the sell button. But I hit as close as possible to that 4094. And uh, I took that profit. Now, it could bounce out of here as a big W reversal. And I'm looking because there's potential for us to re-enter this trade. But now that I wrote it from support to resistance and we made just over 8% on the 5X trade. Because 10X might be too much for the liquidity pool. I don't know, though, because we could try 10X next time. Um, but the actual target that if it breaks out of here, that we might be able to pull, but you, you got to be careful when you're trading leverage. So you're six to 8%, you get the pullback. So it's already pulled back. We would have lost half of our gain so far because it's at 4062 and we sold out it. And it's very, very, it's a very quick thing when you're leverage trading. So it's a very in the moment kind of thing. Um, and I take everybody's money seriously. Like I take it very seriously, probably more serious than anybody you'll have following leverage trading. Um, we have 26 people and, uh, the order when we, when I sold it out, it was at 40.86. So as high up as I could possibly get towards my rejection area. Um, and I'm not afraid to reopen it. Like it back tested and close it at 4021. That was my savior level after it went to 4050 so that it wouldn't come through our buy the worst thing you can do on leverage is let it come back through and close you out you know and it was starting to come close it didn't quite come down there but i have a little uh i have a little thing that i do um and then one of the things i'm talking about is how i have compassion see how it says 30 day pnl makes them look great right but look at the open orders minus 17 like this is how you finesse the system so if you're following somebody you're like i don't understand how i can't make any money He's up 1,200%, right, in the last 30 days. The problem is, is he's not. He's down 1,700% on that trade, 2,800, 2,800, 2,800, 2,800. Look how many trades he's down, 2,800. Barely anything up, not even close. But until you close it out on these copy trades, it acts like you haven't lost that money. So just pay very close attention. So I'm XRP Future Millionaire. Make sure to hit that like button. I thank the 23,100 people that follow, and I hope this update helps. If Matic breaks out, it's at 4377. If it breaks down, it'd be all the way back down to 3950.